for as great as Spectacular Spider-Man is, we really can't say that this is the definitive version of Peter Parker, because we've only seen a part of this Peter Parker story, not truly really the full picture like his adulthood. That being said, it doesn't really stop this Peter Parker from being the best high school Peter Parker out there. First, he's voiced by the GOAT, Josh Keaton, and obviously that guy just, he's the guy that I think of when I hear Spider-Man. It's just great, you can't really go wrong there. Next, you just can really buy this Peter Parker as a high school kid. Not like a 26 year old in high school, but a high school kid. And with this youthful energy that he exudes, while having these relatable struggles, which these struggles, while being hard, aren't overwhelmingly depressing or draining, but understandable. And if it makes you realize that this is still a kid who feels like the entire world is on his shoulders, and sometimes it is. But I mean, sometimes he also has kid issues and high school issues, which is also really fun to watch. And it just makes him really likable overall. But he also can be a dick, which is so weird to say, but it really works for Peter Parker as a character. Hard at some it's really frustrating to root for him sometimes, but especially when he's with us, Alan, which I mean, I'm, I'm gonna still hold out over him till this day, but he was still on his devious shit without the symbiote. But he's still just a good character with character flaws and it's still fun to root for him, even though he has his flaws, because he's just like any other human being. And that's why overall, Spectacular Spider-Man's Peter Parker is still the best iteration of high school Peter Parker we've seen.